Untold Truth About Street Outlaws Exposed Part 1. What is Street Outlaws and City of Oklahoma claims to have the fastest and most skilled street drivers in the United States. Those famous cars and riders can be found in the Street Outlaws, which airs on Discovery Channel since 2013. The show follows the different adventures and dilemmas of underground racers as they compete for the title of being the top outlaw. Its cast members are the people with the biggest names and reputations of the drag racing industry, including Justin Shearer, popularly known as Big G with his race car named The Crow, also one of the eye of the high ranked list is Davy Dave, who is the reigning king of the show who beat other casts in his 1996 GMC Sonoma, loaded with high elevated racing components. The racers are known to be fearless when it comes to the racing strip, but some of them went beyond the lane proving themselves. Continue reading this article to know shocking revelations are just about the ferocious competitors, but the reality series itself. Drivers involved in drug-related cases. It seems like some of the underground racers are not just race car junkies, but are also addicted to illegal drugs. Among these riders are former cast members Brett Peters and Past Christian, who were ousted in the series for obvious reasons. After conducting a series of investigation, the authorities find out that Peter sneak and meth from the set and sells them to his fellow participants. Allegations about the show being fake. Despite its tremendous success, the Discovery Channel's racing series still finds itself in the middle of controversies and serious allegations, including the show being fake. When interviewed, the producers and cast members admitted that some scenes are actually written for the sense of drama of the show's narrative. However, they justify that the races and standings every season were not staged and are solely affected by the competitor's skills. Driver with Murder Charges The street outlaw star named Izzy Valenzuela was arrested in 2015 due to his involvement in a sad accident which cost the lives of two people. The unfortunate crash happened when Valenzuela is racing with another drag racer named Michael Dvorgan and the latter ran into spectators after losing control over his car. The TV personality bailed his way out of the jail for a whopping amount of $2 million in that same year. Cast members take part in illegal races. Some classic drag racers have been accused of breaking the rules and engaging in lawful street races. Justin Shearer, also known as Big Chief, has happened to one of those. Televised races were usually conducted safely and securely. Nonetheless, the producers neglected to inform the fans that racers have frequently engaged in local races across the city just before or after the shoot. Taking part in such competitions goes to show the riders are not contending in participating shows events, but still seek cheap thrills in an unlawful way. Street Outlaw Serious Accidents Showcasing the world of drag racing comes with a high price in the case of street outlaws. The stakes are paid with inevitable accidents and gnarly crashes. One of the most notable accidents of the crew and viewers witness involves Dave Hornstock or Daddy, as he's often called. The crash happened because of his staff's negligence by commencing the competition for that episode and Daddy's car flipped for six times before finally hitting the wall. Recently, the couple of racers in the show J.J. DeBoss and Trisha Day crashed with each other, resulting to multiple injuries for both of them. The accident happened when the former's vehicle burst into flames and swerving into Ladder's Lane. Racers are died with disclosed causes. Because the show highlights great personalities of the racers, their fans usually get closer to their talents. That's why sudden death of two racers named Tyler Pity and Baj Damas. Network and their respective families did not disclose the cause of their death. Some speculate that they got involved in a bad accident or substance abuse. These rumors were not confirmed nor denied, so it will continue to disturb the fans. Licenses of competitors were almost dismissed. After stepping in the show and joining the crew, every one of them were threatened that their driving licenses will be revoked because of their involvement in legal racing. The National Hot Rod Association, NHRA, released a statement that they will be forced to confiscate the racers' identification cards. Despite of the threat, the competitors signed the contract with the producers anyway. At present, there are no cases where drivers actually got their licenses revoked, meaning that the agency's statement is just a hoax.